Well, it's uh, official. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was a failure. Uh, WB has confirmed it did not live up to expectations. Uh, I didn't live up to my expectations either or anybody else's uh, besides the biggest of shills. Um, so, I'm just kidding. If you like the game, it's fine. Um, so I thought, you know what? It's been a long time. I want to go back and rewatch the original reveal trailer. The original reveal trailer. I'm thinking even maybe I should watch some some of the first gameplay they showed too. Just to see how much it's changed. Because if you don't know, it's been almost four years since they officially revealed this. This was revealed back in August 2020. Like, was that? That's, I think, exactly three and a half years. So, three and a half years, not four years, but whatever. Um... Three and a half years. That's insane. And of course, this game was in development way before that. So, so long in development just for it to come out. And literally two days later, Helldivers 2 is just eclipsing it 400 times the player count. Like, Helldivers 2 right now has like around 400,000 people playing it. Suicide Squad, and I'm talking about on Steam alone, 1,000. So, one's, one's a sequel to an indie game not many people have played. And the other one is a... Based on DC characters, Batman's in it. It's a, the technically the, the I guess the fifth game in the Arkham series, and we can pretend like that's not the case. Um, ah, I don't know. It's it's a shame. I hope nobody loses their job at Rockstar. I mean, well, no, Rocksteady, but also Rockstar, <laughs> Rocksteady. Anyway, so let's get to it. Uh, not that Rockstar had anything to do with it, but I hope nobody loses their job. We already lost a, a lot of people. Already lost a lot of jobs in the last like year or so. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go. Check this out. I remember this trailer. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I would have preferred maybe just straight up Superman or 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 a new IP. I've said that many times from the creator of the Batman Arkham series. Yes, sir. Comes their next game. Their next masterpiece. Rocksteady trademark. Yep. The most boring open world to explore ever. But look, it has Easter eggs. Look, it has whatever. No meaningful exploration. Uh, is this trailer just gonna make me cringe now because of how terrible the humor is in the game? Pizza. Dallas slice. Supposed to never miss. Literally, the first thing we learn about this dead shot is that he misses. I guess. I never, you never miss. miss. Never miss. Yeah, yeah, we bloody know. You never shut up about it. <laughs> I mean, the humor in this is already slightly better in the game. It's less annoying. <laughs> we'll say Boomer's voice is still way too. It's like Australian to like the tenth degree. I don't remember this music. <laughs> yeah, this does not represent the game that well because how like they're they're a little too slow. The game is like hopped up on fucking so much caffeine. You gotta keep moving, bro. This is like, they're moving, but they're like slow about it. Like, it's pretty slow, huh? Smooth. Smooth. I'm surprised by how much nothing has changed in between now and this reveal trailer. Like, all the costumes are the same. Obviously, it looks a little bit better because, uh... Oh, there's the helicopters you have to fight a million of. Yeah. 
Superman. Look, it's Superman. Super the mighty Man. Superman has just rescued that pilot. I remember that part made me laugh when I first. Yeah. The mighty Superman has rescued that pilot. Secret assassination mission here. The only King Shark's the only character I didn't end up hating by the end. It's definitely not my favorite version of King Shark though. Shit, I'd say Assault on Arkham's King Shark is better. And he was in the movie for like what five, ten minutes? Like on screen for five, ten minutes. Anyway, you murdered. So, figure out who we're killing yet? Well, you, yeah, you're fucking blind, bro. Oh, I love the li logo is exactly the same. Like and like yep. uh, <laughs> 2022. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. It probably was supposed to come out in 2022, and then fucking Warner Brothers like sl sl slid in there like a fucking snake and went, "Hey, let's make it a live service game." I bet that's exactly what happened. To be fair, though, like, everybody says that, but, like, the gameplay itself is not captivating enough, and the story is not good, so I don't really give a shit if it's all... Like, people keep saying that, like, as an excuse, like, oh, fuck WB, but, like, Rockstar... Steady still... I about to say Rockstar again. Rockstar still made the game, like, gameplay. It's not like Warner Bros. was like, yeah, make that game. Like, uh, sure, they, uh, they probably told him, like, hey, do live service, so that means they added loot and stuff, but the gameplay itself is just... After an hour, it's just monotonous. Um, and the story is not good. Like, you can say what you will about the gameplay of Batman Arkham games, but there was a lot of variety. And the stories in all three of those, uh, the Rockstar, Rocksteady game. I, I've never had that issue, but now for some reason I am. Um, the Rocksteady games uh, were phenomenal. I, it, 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 they're so great. They're so great. And uh, the story in this game is shit. It's really bad. And you could say, again, you'll probably use the excuse WB, you know, they said live service, so they had to end it in a way where, like, they can continue it, you know, with live service uh, additions, but they could have still told a good story up until then. Not, not one bit of it was good, in my opinion. Like, it was all put either predictable or fucking stupid or ruined things from previous games or there was no, f the dialogue wasn't good. There's no moment where the characters have, like, some character, you know, like, oh, they have a moment. Dude, even the Suicide Squad movie that came out in 2016 had the bar scene. Not a single time in this entire game is there a moment like that. And some people are like, oh, but it's a looter shooter. It's a shitty looter shooter. The, the loot sucks. The gunplay gets boring after an hour. Uh, the mission variety is fuck all. It's 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 like oh, dude, protect this, protect that, follow this and protect it. Uh, go there and protect that. It's just a, a bunch of protect this, protect that, and the enemy variety is either either very very small or really annoying. Like I'm fucking sick of fighting the snipers. I was so sick of them. Like they weren't like I, it's not like I kept getting killed or anything. It was just like fucking they, it completely destroyed the flow. Like if I was like kind of maybe in, like my brain's turned off and I'm kind of like enjoying it in like a dumb like fuck way, you know, the fucking snipers would ruin it. I don't know. Anyway, it's not, it's not, I, and I'm shitting on it a lot, but I don't even think it's like a terrible game. It's a terrible disappointment, that's for sure. But it's not a terrible, terrible game. Like it, I, I'd give it a five, I think. I, I think I even may want to go to four just because how terrible the end game stuff is too. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. If people are enjoying it, good. All 800 of you are still playing it. I mean, that's still a lot of people. You'll still find people to play with. So, you know, if you're playing on Steam, at least. I don't know about consoles. I'm assuming consoles might be a little bit higher. I don't know. It seems like a console game more so than a Steam game. But, I don't know. Anyway, I wonder how many people are playing Helldivers 2 on PS5. Like, I wonder if that's more of a Steam thing. Helldivers 2. I bet some people would probably get it on Steam just for um, potential mod support in the future. Um, I don't know if it will have mod support, but I could see them really doing crazy shit with mods in Helldivers 2. Just put the Starship Troopers characters in there. All of them. Johnny Rico, but of course the bugs. Oh, everything. Just do it. I mean, I guess Suicide Squad, you could put mods in it too, I guess. So, yeah. I'm sure you can. And I'm sure you can put certain mods. That's right. King Shark Naked!